Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and activate our account. This will let us copy our save files over as well as let us use remote play. I'll jump over here to settings and I'll go down to system and system information. You can see that I am on 9.00. If we go ahead and back out of there and go up to our application save data manager save data and system storage we go ahead and try to copy it to our USB device it requires us to sign into PSN and it works as well if we go ahead and take it from our USB and try to copy it to our system storage um, another one is the remote play if we go down to remote play we're not able to use that without signing into PSN as well so we're going to go ahead and get it activated, but, but before we do that there, we need to get our account ID. So let's go ahead and jump over to our other PS4 and we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we're over to our PS4 that is already activated, we can go ahead and copy a save over to a USB and that will give us our account ID. So let's go into our save data manager, save data on system storage, copy the USB, and it doesn't matter which game you copy over. I usually just go for the smallest game. Looks like Call of Duty Black Ops. Cold War is only 16 megabytes, so we can go ahead and just transfer that over. Go ahead and copy it. And give it a few moments. It shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it is going pretty quick. Once this is done, we can go ahead and jump over to our computer. And we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we're over to our computer, we can go ahead and open up our USB device, go into PS4, save data, and there is our account ID. Now that's one of the ways, but what if you don't have another PS4 and you're trying to get it? There is another way, we can go ahead and jump on Chrome. Okay, so now that we're on Chrome and uh, we're at the Sony PlayStation Store, we can go ahead and click the two dots up here and just go to more tools, development tools. And we just want to make sure that we have network up. Once we do that there, we can go ahead and hit sign in. Go ahead and type in our email and password. Okay, so now that we're ready to sign in, we'll go ahead and hit it. Keep an eye on the right here as we will need our account ID from here. So once we are logged in, we can go up to our filter. Just type in get pro and it should come up with it right here. We'll go ahead and select it and we're just going to hit the little arrow by data and here is our account ID here now. Now it is a decimal and we'll need to convert it to a hex but that is easily done with your calculator. Go ahead and select calculator, switch it over to programmer, leave it on decimal for now. Just go ahead and paste that in and if you go to hex it will come up with the number here. So if we go ahead and pop up our save file, you can see that both numbers do match. So let's go ahead and jump over to our PS4 and get it jailbroken and get PS4 debug running so we can go ahead and activate our account. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and open up our browser. And it should automatically load up Carlos Host as I already have it all set up. We'll go ahead and select Goal 10. And we'll give it a few moments here. It should pop up with a message to insert our USB. Okay, any moment now it should load. Usually doesn't take that long. Usually 20 seconds or so and it will pop up. Okay, so we can go ahead and insert our USB. And we'll give it a few moments here just to come up with the unsupported file system message. There we go, the USB storage device file system is unsupported. We can go ahead and hit OK. Gold 10 2.0 loaded. We can go ahead and unplug our USB device. And we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. It does come up with the free system memory error message. Just ignore that and hit OK. Now we can go out, hit our PlayStation button and jump out. We can go into our settings. We're going to need our bin loader server, so we'll go ahead and select that. 
as well we're going to need our network because we're going to have to connect from our computer to send over the user account ID. So we'll go ahead and connect. Now an easy way to get your IP address is just go into Gold Hen and just enable your FTP server. And there it is, 10.0.0.223. So we can go ahead and back out of there. We'll open up our browser again. And we're going to go ahead with PS4 Debug. So we'll go ahead and select it. And payload sent, or payload loaded I should say. And there we go, PS4 Debug. So we'll go ahead and hit OK on that. And then just hit our PlayStation button to go to the main menu. We can bring up our Activate window. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and type in our IP address, which is 10.0.0.223. And we'll go ahead and hit connect. Give it a few moments to connect. And as you see at the bottom, it says connect it. We okay, so we'll go ahead and select get users. And we'll give it a few moments here. It shouldn't take too long at all. And as you can see, the user does come up and the number is zero, zero. Uh, well, lots of zeros. So we'll go ahead and select it. And I already have mine in my clipboard, so we'll go ahead and hit paste. And it doesn't matter that it is lowercase, it will uh, automatically set them to uppercase. So we'll go ahead and set ID and activate. And at down the bottom, you can see account ID set and activate it. Let's go ahead and just hit get users just to confirm. Give it a few moments. And as you can see, it's already all capitalized. So we can go ahead and just close that out now as we are done with it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just do a reboot. And we'll give it a few moments here. I will skip ahead. Okay, so now we did a reboot. We can go ahead and log in. We can go over to our settings. Scroll down to Application Save Data Management, Save Data on System Storage, Copy to USB, and there's no save data on our system storage, but you can see that it does work. We can back out of there, go to Save Data on USB Storage, Copy to USB, or Copy to System Storage, and we can go ahead and select it and copy the game over. And then we'll go ahead and back out of there, and I will show you that Remote Play does actually come up as well. So there you go, guys. That's basically it for the video. I just want to jump on, show you how to activate your account. If you did like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.